Hello, my name is Tracy Batiste. I am a children's book author. I also teach at Leslie University in their low residency MFA program. I teach writing for young people and I run the editorial company Fairy God Author, which helps writers with their manuscripts or synopses or proposals and things like that. Um, so I actually wanted to talk to you guys today about creativity under pressure. This is a lecture that I actually developed a couple of years ago when I was working on the Minecraft book. And I also had been asked by my editor to work on the third Jumbies book, the third in the series. And I was working on a graphic novel, a historical graphic novel at the same time. And it just, I was under so much pressure that it was really difficult to figure out how to get all of these things done. And I developed a series of ways to get through all of that work. And when it was all finished, one of my friends said to me, you know, you should sort of develop a talk about that and talk about how you were able to be creative under all of that pressure. And it occurred to me just last week that there has never been a more pressure-filled time than right now with everyone dealing with their self-quarantine or um, actual quarantine. Um, and I know so many writers and other creative people who are struggling with being creative, not because they don't have the time, because of course now everybody's home and they, they have the same, and they have the time, but because everybody's dealing with anxiety and depression and uncertainty and also dealing with people being inside your house. If you are a creative who works from home, you're kind of used to being at home and working, but having that space for yourself and with other people inside the house with you, it's a very different kind of energy inside the house. So right now I have both my children, teenagers, and my husband all in the house all day long which is not the norm. They go to school and work and I'm home all day and I have that space, the creative space to be able to work and to write and to do whatever it is I need to do to get through my day. And so that is really different now. Uh, despite the fact that I still have the same amount of time, I have gotten so much less work done and I think that is the case for a lot of people. So I thought it would be good to maybe do some bite-sized um, posts, video posts, about what kind of strategies I used uh, to be creative under pressure. And the thing that I start with, so I, so I developed this lecture that I started doing and I did it for a few different groups of people. And then I developed a workshop out of it that I used with my students at Leslie University. And I've taught that workshop now uh, twice. So this is the second year that I've taught it. And it's worked pretty well. The thing that I realize with it is that not all of the strategies will work for everyone. And not all of the strategies will work immediately. Sometimes you need to think about a thing for a little while or let it settle in a little bit before it becomes something that can work for you. So as we go through these, um, if something seems like it doesn't work for you, maybe it's that it doesn't work for you, or maybe it's just that you need more time to see how it could work for you. Um, <clears throat> but we'll see. I mean, you know, I'll do a few of these and I'll try to keep them short. We'll see how it goes. So the thing that I always start with is creative space. And I can be creative anywhere because I have to. I travel a lot, so I have to be creative while I'm traveling, um, while I'm not you know, in my usual workspace. I have to be creative everywhere because I have deadlines. 
and your creative space could be something as simple as the notebook that you use that you write in. I actually write in this notebook quite a lot. Um, it could be just, you know, the laptop that you use. So here's the laptop that I use that I travel with. It's, you know, it gives me a lot of comfort because it's like the, the, it's all frayed at this point. It's like so messy, um, but I don't even care. It's old and it's messy, but it feels comforting to me because it's mine and I've had it for a long time and I've traveled with it, you know, for a long while. And so those are things that I consider to be my creative space. My creative space is also my office, which I recently redecorated. So the thing that I will end with today, and I will do it as a separate video because um, I, will, I will use the phone to um, show you around the office, is just the space that I feel most creative in and the space where I do most of my creativity. And if you are so inclined, I would ask you to share your creative space in the comments. Uh, you can take a photograph of your creative space or you can describe your creative space, or um, you can do like a short video clip of your creative space, and that would be great. Um, just the place that you feel most happy or most comfortable being creative. We will start from there, and the next one I will try to do in a couple of days, maybe Wednesday or Thursday, and that one will be about creative rituals. All right, bye guys. Um, oh, so you can, I always forget about like promo, right? So you can find me at tracybatiste.com. And if you are interested in editorial help, um, you can go to um, uh, consulting on the website. And that is where Fairy God Author lives. And I will see you around Facebook. Bye.